So, I started playing Sims 4. It's been a long time since I played a Sims game. Very long time. Maybe about 20 years? Is that how long Sims has been out? It's been a very long time since I played a Sims game. So, here I am, Sims 4. Just jumped in it. And I went crazy. Like, I lost it. So, we're going to go check out a build that I did. It's kind of extensive, huge. Let it just speak for itself. All right, so here we are. Truth be told, I have a few packs that I bought. I don't remember them offhand right now. I know I did get this city living one, and that is where my current sim character is living and trying to earn up enough money so we can buy this place over here at Henford on Bagley. So what I built, if you've been looking at my shorts, is a Brooklyn block, or an abbreviated Brooklyn block. I mean, there are some blocks in Brooklyn that are this short, but this is a four-building block of brownstones from Brooklyn. I call it Sterling Place Brooklyn, because it looks exactly like Sterling Place, which is a few blocks from my current location. So, sorry about the, the lag. But this build is really overloading the CPU. So right here, first things first, we'll, we'll check out the front of these things. I got this little turret going here in the front of this one. This is the classic Brooklyn brownstone you see here. This one is a bit more modernized. This one is completely modernized and gentrified. And this one here is also a harken back to kind of the older style brownstones with a, a store in the bottom. So it's got a storefront. And we come around to the side. We've got a lot of little kiosks on the side. You'll probably see stuff like that on Nostrand Avenue, not Sterling, but it is what it is. And here we have the, the back of the place. All very, very meticulous. I, I, I can't get to that barn or whatever that is, so we will ignore that. And then we come around here, and then we have that. Okay, so let's go inside and check out the interiors now. Okay, so we have a gym here, right? And uh, you've got the walls, which you see the walls in here. So we've got like a little, a little gym. So the owner of this first house has kind of built a little gym here. We've got our treadmills, we've got our workout stations, and we've got some gaming consoles, gaming uh, modules, consoles, whatever you would call those. Okay, in the second home, in the basement, uh, we have a laboratory. We have no idea what he is doing in this laboratory, or what they are doing in this laboratory, but there is an x-ray machine and whatever this thing is, I thought it looked nice, so I threw it up in there. Yeah, we got some caution signs. I meticulously tried to place garbage cans everywhere, and I might have missed a few. But it is what it is. So this is the apartment on the, the super fully modernized fascia, but the inside is more traditional. Right. I think I'm going to save the store for last. So we'll come up here to the second floor of this place right here. Oh, let me turn off these grids so we can see the, the materials that I used. And then we've got this wallpaper. I've got to show you the window treatments and the, and the paintings and, and all that good stuff. Um, and I just realized I'm way out of the camera. So let me back up a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. Anyway, so we've got this bedroom here. I haven't created a narrative for most of these places other than one. Um, these books are all green, so I'm kind of thinking that that might be one of those old school encyclopedias, you know? So we've got uh, the archway here. So you come in through the front door, right? You got your little, let's show the show the walls in here we got this we got your shoe rack in case you come in with uh wet galoshes 
Then we have this hat, this hat and coat rack here. You know, big ass TV. And we come through here. We got a very nice bathroom. We have this going down into the basement, which we saw already, which goes down to the gym. Not a private gym, but there is access for the owners of the home to to go there. Okay, this is the modernized. Real, I really, really like the way this one came out. Let's zoom in a little bit more and check this out a little bit closer. I really like this the way this one came out. If you didn't know, notice I was going for more terracotta feel for this floor. Kind of monochrome with splashes of color here and there. So yeah, I really, I really, really like this one. Okay, and then we move next door to this one. Haven't created quite a narrative but I did have fun designing the walls. Even though I made the paint quite plain, I did have fun putting some of these things together, like uh, like this over here. I made a mural out of these and these arrow things here. I think that's kind of cool. Like I'm not a designer. I don't know anything about architecture or design or anything like that, and I'm learning. Definitely researching and looking things up and learning the jargon and all that stuff so I could sound better when I talk about these places. But yeah, that's that one. Then we got this one. In the uh, truth be told, this is the only furnished floor, furnished and occupied, occupied floor for this particular build right here. And I, I tried to go with a more, more colorful palette and really tried to throw some things in there that's, that's nice. That's for the front apartment is too. So you come up through these stairs here, uh, first set of stairs, which lets you out into this hallway here. This is the first apartment. It's a one bedroom. And here we have the little bedroom, little one bed. Got a little gaming system in there in his house, you know, a little star mirror. He loves life. He loves life. It's modest, but he loves it. And then we got this one, also a one bedroom, but he's definitely a little bit fancier than his neighbors. Got some really nice furniture in here in his smaller apartment. Got a little nice, nicer little kitchen also as well. Yeah. Now, one thing about this game, the tedium is placing all the clutter. It's it's insanely tedious. Okay, I did create a narrative for this one. This is a single father. We got his bedroom here. And he may or may not be a spy. We don't know what he does for a living necessarily. But he's got this bag of cash here. And he's got these secret books here. And some stuff going on, you know, he's got, you know, I like this, I like the little phones and stuff. I'm going to get more packs and have more stuff for my later builds. I want to have, like, everything. <laughs> I didn't think I would go into this game thinking I wanted everything, but I definitely do now. Yeah, I like the way this bathroom also came out. I don't think I needed more clutter here either. And then we've got uh, this room in the front. These are his, his kids' rooms. So he's got a boy. We'll say he's a, he's a teenager. Maybe 14, 15, 16 years old. He's a gamer. So we've got his little TV here. Did I forget to give him a game? I dead forgot to give him a game system. He's going to get a game system. I'll probably place it on the, on the bottom right here of this thing here. Let me move this back a little bit. Seems like it's crowding the TV a little bit much and I can't see the rug as much as I'd like to. He plays keyboard and he loves Yoda and he loves soccer and he has some blue ribbons for some soccer and this. He, he likes elephants as well. He's got his, uh, his posters up. Then we got his sister's room. She's a bit neater than he is, you know, we got her. I don't know how to size things. I'm playing on console, so I don't know how to resize anything or anything like that. So 
she got that big ass dollhouse back there. And yeah, I haven't sim tested any of this yet, but I will. This is the second floor. I decided to make it a a hall. So this building here is one family, and this building here is one family. The rest are apartments. So let's move forward. We've got this, uh, this table. I don't know. I decided to put some bureaus in there. Some, yeah. Kind of like this this elephant. Whoever's taking care of that power to them, right? Like really, really modern. With a with a juxtaposition of classic furniture. With the walls. Walls made of materials of the upper class of the elitists. And then we have this apartment here. Now this one is the where I created the narrative. Here we have an old retired couple. The wife loves red, and the husband pretty much lets her do whatever they want. It's a studio apartment. So they've got their bathroom. They've got their little bookcase there. And they got their bedroom here around the around the little corner. And they're, they're young at heart. You know, they got their, their headphones, probably Beats. And they got their big ass TV here where they like to game and watch some TV. And yeah, I definitely have to give them a game system also. Maybe put a console there. Let's do that right now. Since we're here, we might as well, right? Um, objects by room. Let us put a dresser. And since they're a little bit more modern, but not too modern, and she likes red, so I gotta get red in there. And this, yeah, this has got the red that I'm looking for. Okay, so let's throw that right there. Right? I don't think I can center it as much as I'd like to. Um, okay, let's go get the gaming system. Electronics, MISCs, where is that gaming system? Where it at though? Where it at though? Where it at though? It might not be there, it might be computer? Nope. Let's just show all. Let's show all and let's just find it because it's got to be in here in the show all section obviously. There we go. Now I don't know what equivalent to real life gaming systems it is, but they're both called box for some reason. This one looks like an Xbox. This one is unortho box. And it comes in the Xbox color. So guess what it's gonna be? It's gonna be an Xbox to me in my world. And I guess the other one is a Series X or S, Series X, because that's the big one. And this is complete to this apartment. I, I kind of I think I'm really, really proud of this one also. I like the way this one came out. You know, and this is kind of a narrative I got. What I was going to do is I was going to create mirrors, those one-way mirrors here, and have these this apartment spying on this apartment. But then I figured, what is the point when all you're looking at is the ballroom, which probably doesn't get used much, you know? Right, so we will go up one more flight. <clears throat> okay, here is the top floor. We've got a little gaming set up in here. We've got the bathroom in case they gotta go. We got some chests. We got one of these console, these game mats. He's got his gaming set up with his Red Series X. Got the stereo there. He got his headphones, some discs there, a couple of action figures and I don't know this could be a game this is definitely a gaming setup because you can play games on these computers but I don't know what kind of desk this is I just thought it looked really cool and then I tried to use these walls you know got a little poster with the plum plumbus I think that's I don't know I might be getting that confused with uh, Rick and Morty so yeah we've got they've also got like a, a lounge like a little speakeasy kind of thing going here with the tvs what happened to the tv oh i think it's over here no 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 the tv came off the wall for some reason i'm gonna fix that 
I won't bore you with that. Just know there's going to be a TV on one of these walls. And then uh, he's got like a little, little home gym up here, a little mini basketball court. And uh, my rim is gone. Got to put the rim back. Then we have the top floor to the super modern interior one. And I think this is the f my favorite room that I designed. It is a relatively open floor plan. So you come up the stairs here and you enter here and you have his library with his books and stuff, you know, little knickknacks on the shelves. And then you come forward here and you have the bathroom. You know, you got the tub, you got the toilet, his and her sinks with their uh, baubles on the side. Right, then you got a little piano here, which is definitely not supposed to be there. Why is that? Oh, okay. That piano is not supposed to be there. Let's get rid of that. I put the I put this piano over there while I move things around so I can make room for it. So that piano does not go there. But yeah, that's the little lounge and sitting area. So they get dressed. Got the mirrors right there. She could put on her shoes, check her makeup and all that before they go. Right? Okay, and over here... This one also got a little modernized up here with, again, a touch of some classic elements like this chandelier here and some of the furniture and the, this is more of a dining room lounge. Got this little fire, this uh, waterfall here that I love. And they got like a little lounge area here where they play piano with the fire place and these paintings all over the walls art lovers art lovers man and then they got this uh this bedroom here which has the two-way mirror here i finally found a way to make use of it and uh over here we have unfurnished vacant apartments so when i do finally add sims to this build in this world all this will be filled up and i'll have sims in here and buy furniture now my favorite part, while I still got some time, is this store that I made. I am super proud of this store. And when I have it up and running, I'll throw some clothes on these mannequins. And I tried to fit as much, as many knickknacks as I could in here to make it look like authentically a store. But not any specific kind of store, maybe a, a, a discount store or mini Walmart or something of that along those lines so they've got a whole array of different things you get magazines and watches and cutlery and makeup and hats and gift boxes and chess sets and clothing and you come down here you get some cake and get some ice cream and you got here and then got some paintings on the wall you got your uh surveillance camera there and then we got uh our back room our storeroom back here right and our office and I like these these are non-working garages but they're decals and they look really nice so yeah that's my build in its entirety Sterling Place Brooklyn that yeah, looks at night let's check out the front real quick because I did put a lot of work into this <laughs> let's not leave any of it out and hopefully everything works and it functions and it can be sim tested. But this lot currently costs uh, about $1.3 million. And my character is only about $300,000 deep. So at this point right now, he can't afford it. But I will. I mean, I'll probably stop aging for a little while until he can afford it and then move everybody in. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I'm going to upload more, upload daily, and give you more content. I'm going to focus on making it as good as possible so everybody loves it as much as I do. Because this game is really cool. I'm not going away from Forza. Forza will also be on this channel. It's not going to be a dedicated Sims 4 channel. It will probably be a dedicated Sims 4 and Forza 5 channel. So stay tuned tomorrow for my pre-update Forza episode. And, uh, yeah.
I might also build a basement, like an actual basement that takes up the entire lot. Leave a comment if you want me to do that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Later, guys. So I was clearly on the wrong side of the street. I mean, it might not be better to be in the middle of the street, but... Look at that, man. I was definitely on the wrong side of the street. These, these brownstones are nah, compared to, bam, those. Look at them things.